Huntington's disease, as you know, is a uh, is an autosomal dominant uh, mutation. So you know you have a fifty percent chance of having the gene if your uh, mom or dad has it, and it's it's a fully penetrant disease, which means that at some time in your life, if you have the expanded CAG repeat, you will get Huntington's disease. So um, since 1993, when the CAG repeat was discovered, there have been ongoing efforts to try and find ways to augment the expression of that expanded repeat. Uh, and we refer to that expanded repeat as, as a mutant Huntington, and specifically the protein is a mutant Huntington protein. So, so kind of what prompted this study was uh, really around the concept of can you uh, selectively knock down mutant Huntington protein? Uh, and, and so the company that we worked with, uh, um, Wave Life Sciences, was, uh, was interested in developing a technology where they could selectively knock down mutant Huntington protein. Uh, so, so if you have one that's expanded repeat and one that's not expanded repeat, we refer to the non-expanded repeat as wild type. And so in order to do this, they developed technology that relies on uh, SNPs or a single nucleotide polymorphism. So those are kind of randomly uh, dispersed uh, the polymorphisms in the genetic code. And, they, and there have been data that shows that there are um, a certain SNP that's more commonly present uh, in some people than others, and uh, and really the idea was could I could they design a technology that would take advantage of that um, SNP being on the same uh, uh, allele as as the mutant Huntington expansion, and from there design uh, a therapy that would selectively reduce mutant Huntington protein expression but leave the wild type alone. So that's kind of the backstory to how we got to where this study um, that we recently published um, came to. And, and really the question was, um, really, is it feasible to find patients that have this SNP? There's actually two that we looked at. Is it feasible to find patients um, and find the SNP on the expanded repeat? And so to answer that question, we had to run um, a multi-center study um, and get uh, a large number of, of Huntington's patients to uh, agree to have their, um, to have uh, an investigation on whether or not A, the SNP was present, and B, was the SNP present on the expanded repeat. And so that's really where this, this study came from, and, and it really sets the stage for uh, future investigations of allele-specific knockdown of mutant Huntington.